What is your worst neighbor from hell story? I used to have a neighbor that would constantly throw trash over their back fence into my yard. Did it all the time. During the summer. I would go out to the shed in the back and find the most random shti. Like a ripped open stuffed animal. Used diapers. Etc. I started throwing the trash back over. But it kept coming back no matter how much I battled it. The douchebag teen son would work on his car in the driveway and blast music all day long. They also used to have a basketball hoop in their driveway that they eventually took down. They discarded the hoop and backboard in our front yard off to the side like we wouldn't notice. I kept pushing it back into their yard against the same fence they kept throwing trash over. But it somehow kept finding its way back into our yard. They were truly neighbors from hell. They eventually moved away and all the problems cleared up. We lived next door to this old man who sat in his front yard blatantly just staring at us with binoculars. He only did it when my parents weren't home. When my mom confronted him he claimed we were lying. We weren't. So one night we hear a noise outside and my mom pulls up the blind to find herself eye to eye with this old man trying to look into our window. And there's that other time my neighbor tried to kidnap me by trying to lure me into his car asking me Harry Potter stuff and he went to jail but I've already told that story on here. Okay. Woke up at 1am one night to someone banging on my front door. No porch light so I couldn't see who it was. Banging continues for about 10 minutes. I waited for the person to walk away and get a fair distance away before opening the door to ask what the hell was going on. Downstairs neighbor appears and starts yelling something about he stole my baby and then I see some dark figure running towards me, again. No porch lights. I freak out. Deadbolt my door and call cops as I'm hiding in my bathtub. Boyfriend has the porcelain part of the toilet ready to strike someone if they get in. Because whoever is banging at the door is back. Anyway. Turns out it was the neighbor's boyfriend and he did have her baby but wasn't trying to steal it. They were having a fight and I guess he was trying to get us involved. F ked up shti. Man. It all started when our new neighbor put up a fence that extended too far. Which forced pedestrian to walk in the street. Rather than the sidewalk. My dad said something to him and of course. The guy didn't listen. My dad then contacted the city. This is when it all began. Over the next year. The neighbor got his revenge. First. He placed multiple spotlights outside his house. Which went on at 8pm and lit up our bedrooms. Next. He placed a school bell on the back of his house and connected it to his telephone. Every time his telephone rang. It rang. Finally. There was a garage that he technically owned. But it was connected to our house. 2. When he discovered we were trying to sell our house. He painted the garage neon pink. With neon green stripes. He must have known what he was doing. Because he now owns 16 of 20 properties that were on our old block. He may have been some passive aggressive genius. Sounds like an evil monopoly man. Not my neighbor but I was watching this whole scenario. So I was visiting a friend and we had a beer on his balcony when we see quite a few police officers rushing into the apartment complex on the other side of the street. Things get more hectic. The road gets closed. All tenants have to leave the building and one guy gets arrested. Then a GSG9. The German S. W. A. T. Comma team arrives but then leaves after inspecting something under a huge tent that was put on the street. Very weird. The next day I search for what happened in a local newspaper. Appears that neighbor A was boring a hole to neighbor B's apartment to fill it with gas. Sweet. What is it with angry Germans and gas? For three days in a row the person above me in the condo I lived in would play the Eagles greatest hits or something really loudly. The Eagles. All night. He'd scream along to the lyrics and it was just horrible. I finally went up to his place and he couldn't hear me knocking because of the music. I wait until it's between songs and knock really hard. I'm expecting a drunk trashy white guy because the singing was horrible. Nope. Middle-aged Korean guy. His accent was thickened when singing made him sound like a drunk white guy and guess. 
A friend of mine bought his first house with his new wife and the day after they moved in found swastikas painted on their fence in the front yard. They're Jewish. Not a great welcome to the community. Come on. Man. I had a rough night and I hate the Fkin Eagles. Man. The guy who lives above me is really popular. About 5 times an evening. I hear someone walking up the steps and knocking on his door. He must be kind of a prick. Though. Because they always leave and walk back down the steps about 5 minutes later. When I was about 10 years old a neighbor of mine trapped one of my cats in a trap where he could menacingly spray it down with a hose for lord knows how long. He gave the cat back while still in the trap. I've never seen my father so angry in my life. I'm pretty sure he poisoned the cat also. The cat survived. But hot damn was this guy an ass. The neighbor was put down right? Edit. Seemingly mandatory edit for thanking for the gold. Not so much neighbor from hell. But still pretty funny. My neighbor broke into my house in the middle of the night in a drunken blur. We were all in our early 20s and him and his buddy. Their late 20s early 30s. Lived downstairs. One night. I hear all this noise and find him passed out drunk in my hall closet clutching a pair of shoes. I asked him to leave and he said okay but still didn't. I could hear him walking around. I was hiding out in my bedroom. Since the whole thing was a little unnerving. So I called the police and then I hear them come into my apt and say hey you. Do you live here? I found that approach rather amusing. Once they got him to be coherent for a few minutes. They told him he couldn't just break into pretty girls houses and then they asked if I wanted to press charges. Of course I didn't. I am sure the embarrassment was enough for him. I didn't see him again for the rest of my time living there. My dad was the neighbor from hell for a while. For a long time. We lived in the middle of nowhere. Nearest neighbor was 3 miles away. My dad did mechanic work on the weekends in his shop. He would get up at the crack of ass on Saturday and Sunday and just start revving engines and making a ton of racket. Since we had no neighbors. No one complained. We moved into the city and my dad opened his own business. He tried to do the same things he was used to doing out in the country. But the cops ended up getting involved. He would get up every day at 4am and just start making racket in his shop, right next to our house. People complained and my dad told them to FCK off. He stopped only because the cops told him to. And that he was allowed to make as much racket as he wanted. Just as long as it was in between 7am to 10pm and you can bet. Our neighbor two houses down always comes sprinting out of his house to flip of the ice cream truck. It's pretty funny. I am currently living next to a weird neighbor that apparently has a grudge with everyone in our street. And my dad tries to park our car into our house and she happens to be outside. She would hide behind her car or run inside her house. That's how weird she is. Once while I was playing basketball with my sisters in the middle of the street, it was the only place big and long enough to play, and her car turned into the street. Instead of flashing her lights or honks. She fking accelerates. Since the ball was still in midair. I waited for it to come down so I can catch it and move aside. She screeched to a stop next to us. Opens her door and raged about how we are blind and can't see a car on the road. Being 11 stroke 12 years old. I had no comeback ready. Funny thing is. I never knew what happened between us to make our relationship this sour. She was acting this way since before I was born already. Her husband is a good man though. Always smiling at us and greeting us. The guy who lives in a trailer park behind my house likes to get drunk. Swear at his wife and kids and stomp around his property like an angry dog. Sometimes he strums electric guitar until 11 at night. Not play but strum. It sounds like he's trying to play with his face. One time he got drunk and threw a TV out of his window then called his wife a bitch. Me and my friends have taken to calling him Randy. Edit. Lorraine actually stabbed Randy 6 times. Not sure if I can't find a news story. But apparently he backed her into a wall and she stabbed him. Lived above us. Would go at this huge UFC bag several mornings a week at 7am. 
we used to have a neighbor that would run around the town every night stark naked and stop at every open window and swing his willy around. I never called anyone because I found it quite amusing. He was harmless. Someone finally reported him though. Well. There goes Jim on his evening stroll. Always bringing Willy out to walk too. I had some neighbors that were in a 1BDRM next to me. I'm not sure how many people actually lived there. But there were at least 5 that I saw on a consistent. Regular basis. They are also the only people who I've had to call the cops on because they were having a birthday party. At 2am. On a Tuesday. I asked them a few times to be quieter and. When the police arrived. They kept trying to tell the police will be done soon. I counted 35 people leaving that apartment. I also had my complex call out the exterminator no less than 4 times in 6 months as I kept finding German cockroaches everywhere despite my tidiness. Then. One day. I came home and saw papers taped to various tenants doors text side down. One was the folks below me and another was the assholes next door. Being an asshole myself. I took a peek. What did it say? We are sending in a professional cleaning crew prior to sending the exterminator once more. They will not clean your belongings. But they will clean the apartment. Etc. Fking CNTS. My house was robbed. And a month later. I found the broken case of my desktop PC in my next door neighbor's yard. I had a really bad neighbor back in my early 20s who we caught constantly trying to sneak over in the night and steal gas from our cars and anything we left outside. We actually lived in a nice neighborhood he was a junkie who lived with his parents. He got arrested at one point for feeding meat with broken glass in it to a neighbor's dog for fun. He was always a piece of shti but the drugs made him even worse. He tried stealing my lawn mower and I chased him off. Later that night I caught him outside spray painting my garage and I beat the shti out of him and called the police. He got arrested for assault. Trespass and vandalism. His parents bailed him out shortly thereafter. He decided to come to my house with a baseball bat to get revenge on me but neither me or my wife were home. Her father and mother were down visiting us and staying in our spare bedroom. I suppose he kicked broke down the door to get inside. My father-in-law shot him six times in the chest with a 44 special. My current neighbor. We live five miles out in the country. And he has four of these Scottish Highlander cows. He is convinced my yellow Labrador is going to viciously attack them. And he freaks out whenever my dog is close to his property. He called the cops. And they pretty much told him that there is nothing that can be done. He can legally shoot my dog if he is actually on his property hurting his livestock. I'm not worried that my dog going to do that. But I am worried that he will just shoot my dog and say that he was hurting them. He has also freaked out because the garbage truck backed into his driveway. And also that we drive too fast by his house and the dirt kicks up from the road. Just a winny neighbor that moved from the city out to a rural area I guess. Wait what? He is afraid that some of the most baddest kind of cows to ever exist would get hurt by a measly lab. Had neighbors once in college that would constantly call the cops on us. At least three times a week. The first couple times we deserved it for being loud. The rest? We could literally turn the TV on. Walk too fast up the stairs. Or fart too loud and they would call. Someone else would be having a party and they would call on us. It got so bad that the cops even showed up one night just for no reason. Exact words. We were in the neighborhood and figure we'd be here later. So we were just checking and laughed it off. We even went as far as getting a lawyer to get us out of the lease because we was being harassed with the complaints for no reason. Opposite end of the situation. After a hockey game. My friends thought it would be hilarious to douse me in warm pig's blood. I had just entered my apartment when I heard a knock on my door and one of my neighbors who I had seen around the building had randomly decided to get to know me at that moment. I had a grey shirt on and some lighter pants. All covered in blood. And it had dried to the point that I had completely forgotten it was still there. His demeanor changed immediately when he finally looked at my clothing. He kept chatting nervously for a few minutes and then left in a hurry. 
I went back into my apartment thinking that was a nice gesture and was wondering to myself why he had left in such a hurry. I walked past my hallway mirror and immediately felt like an idiot. He never spoke to me again. Nor did anyone in that apartment complex. My neighbor in college beat his girlfriend once. I heard her sobbing and pleading for him to let her leave and screaming not to kill her. Got on the phone with 911 in about 2. 5. 2. 5 what? Seconds. Minutes. Years. I was playing Risk on a Saturday night with a few buddies of mine who came to visit. Granted. We get into it and sometimes it gets loud. But that was no excuse to call the cops on us and have to explain. Very awkwardly. That we are just really loud nerds. Then again. It did hurt her credibility for future calls. So that's nice. Not mine but my now wife had a neighbor threaten to kill our pet cat because some animal pooped on his front door. We did find our cat badly beaten up and bloodied once before. Actually tried to pick a fight with me over it. Tried to badmouth us to the other neighbors. Who actually supported us against him. I went to the police. Reported him and found a better place for my wife to live. Good riddance and good luck to him next time he causes trouble and the police gets involved. My neighbor is the worst man you can ever meet. He's mean. Rude. And all around unpleasant. Just seeing his face makes my insides cramp. Him and his fancy house. Robotic lawnmower. And high powered barbecue. I could have those things too if I didn't have a kid. Dinkleberg. I once had these old lesbian living next door to us and they were crazy. They would yell at us for playing in the yard at like 9 at night. During the summer. To prove that we were bad kids they would hid in their bushes and videotape us. And send the tapes to the cops. They also once blocked our driveway and honked at us for 2 hours until the cops came. They were old and bitter and had nothing better to do than bother us. We had one roommate who just constantly stole food. But would never admit to it. Nothing worse than being paranoid about stuff going missing and suspecting innocent people of it. Eventually. It was good as everyone else bonded over the shared hatred of this one guy. I finally got the proof I needed as I put some out of date eggs in the fridge. Had them go missing only for him to be sick for a few days. Growing up. My neighbor was this old Jamaican woman. Every day she would walk by my house trying to put some voodoo curse on us. I feel like there are two sides this story. I lived on the third floor of a walk up apartment building. Four apartments on each floor. I came home from work on evening. Arms loaded with grocery bags. Reached my floor and look up to see a very angry 90 pound boxer running towards me. I dropped the bags and turned sideways to brace for the dog hitting me. The dog jumped and sailed past down the stairs. I managed to get into my apartment before the dog got back up. I called the management office to report the dog. 20 minutes later the dog's owner comes banging on my door. Wanting to know why I called in a complaint. Since the front office told her I was the one to complain. I gave my moving notice the next day. Two days before I moved out the sheriff's department evicts the neighbor and her dog. Apparently said neighbor was dealing drugs and the apartment chose to object. The management office told her it was you who called in a complaint? That's seriously f-ked up. I'll try to make this short and sweet. Meth lab next door. Smelly. FBI. D. New neighbors now.